common problem with iCloud Photo Library is that the local library takes up a lot of space even when you've got optimized versions turned on. So one possible solution is to put your photo library into a disk image with a limited size. As you can see, my library is at 33 gig. So I'm going to open up Disk Utility, File, New Image, Blank Image. We'll start by giving it a name. Saving it in the Pictures folder is logical. Head down to the bottom, make sure it's a sparse bundle disk image. Call it Photos again. Choose the size you want to limit it to. Turn on Encryption if you feel like it, and then click Save. Once it's created it, you can see it's mounted on the desktop. If your library is small enough, you could move it straight into the disk image by dragging it into photos on the sidebar. Mine's not, so I'm just going to delete it. And next time I open photos, it's going to tell me it can't find the library. Choose open other, create new. Choose to put it in that mounted disk image. If it's not in the quick list, choose it down the left under Devices, click OK. In Preferences, make sure this library is the system library first. And then back in the iCloud tab, turn on iCloud Photo Library. Make sure Optimize Max Storage is still switched on. You can see it's already started updating. The next step is to make sure the disk image is mounted when you log on. So go into Users and Groups in System Preferences, go into Login Items, and just drag the disk image into that section and check Hide. That way it'll automatically mount when you turn on your computer and log in. One last step is probably hiding this disk image from the desktop. If you want to find a Preferences, you can turn off external disks. Thanks to the ATP guys for suggesting this.